Boys and girls, I have an update. Oh, and I gotta be careful with this update. Oh, you see me moving so gentle. So gentle. Oh, there we go. Do you see what's happening? Oh, it's so hard for me to show you because I don't want to hurt them. Let me hold them up gently, okay? Ooh. Do you see? Oh, they're moving. I'm not doing that there, look. They're wiggling around in there. Oh, that one's wiggling a lot. Oh, that one's trying to change, I think. Do you see what's happening, boys and girls? Let me put this one on top so I have a little more stability. This guy right here, he's still trying to get in his chrysalis. I'm not sure what's taking him so long. Do you see what they turned into, boys and girls? That's right, they're, they're, they're a chrysalis. Do you see the chrysalis they built? <gasps> that one's wiggling. He's wiggling. So when they were all crawling to the top and we thought, oh, they're getting ready to make a chrysalis, we were right. They're all at the top. Some of them are still in transformation stage. So we got a couple down there that are still half caterpillar, half chrysalis. Um, sometimes in nature, boys and girls, the metamorphosis process doesn't always go as planned. So not all of our caterpillars always make it, but we're gonna hope that all of them make it and all of them um, turn into a chrysalis. I'll check them first thing in the morning to make sure this little guy over here is doing okay. And this one at the bottom. But boys and girls, it's official. We have a chrysalis, yay. So your new assignment for um, week two of distance learning will be to draw a picture of your observation of what you see right now. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can see these guys. They have like little hard nodules right there. Do you see them? Hold on, it's hard to focus on. There we go, I think I'm too close, there we go. Do you see what they look like? They have like little little bumps there. They kind of look like yellowish or goldish. And then the outside of the chrysalis looks to be maybe kind of grayish green with a little brown in there. Maybe a little black lines. Very beautiful. Oh look, there, there's that guy. He's like a sideways chrysalis. So after they all make a solid, oh, that one's moving down there. <laughs> after they all make a solid chrysalis, um, I will take the top off these lids, gently pick it up. They will stay on this little cloth right here. That's what they're attached to. The cloth helps them hang on with their little threads. And then I will put it in our handy dandy butterfly net, which I cannot find at the current moment. Oh, please. Um, and we have our butterfly net right here. So once I open this up, I can show you what it looks like. Hold on. Woo! Hello. I popped open quite quickly. So after um, our, our chrysalis are formed, we, I open this up and put them here at the bottom in the nice little stand um, like this. Oh, that's the feeder. This is the feeder. That's for once they hatch out of their chrysalis, then we get to put is the butterfly feeder. So you put some sugar water because they, they drink nectar from flowers. So you just have to put some sugar water in here and then it feeds um, it feeds the butterflies once they hatch out of their chrysalis. If they come out of it, it will feed them because they have to stay in here for a little bit to get strong and get the um, coloring in their wings. And then once the color in their wings come really bright and strong and they're fluttering around in the net, then that's when I can release them and let them free. So I'm gonna have Mr. Wellington help me with that when it's time to release the butterfly so that we can record it and show it for you guys because it's so much fun and it's so neat. And I'm so sorry you guys can't see this in person. I'm trying my best to take really good videos though. All right, so go off, find your notebook or your journal and start sketching. Draw, me, draw a picture of the cups of the where well, they're not caterpillars anymore, they're a chrysalis, right? Um, so draw me pictures of those and then post them to your teacher's class dojo and you will get points for that as well. So parents, don't forget. Family, don't forget. Give your um, the little ones points when they're completing assignments, okay? And we wanna see it. I love, love, love the pictures I saw last week. I had a lot of friends draw really cool pictures of 
um, their observations of the the life cycles of the butter the life cycle of the butterfly. So please, please post more because we love to see your work and it makes us so proud. All right, bye bye for now. See you soon.